What's up, YouTube? Um, I kind of failed on the last video I made. Um, oops, I forgot my keys. Because I made a video of me in, oop, don't want to lose it here, in my car coming home for the weekend for 4th of July. And you're falling out of my holder here. There we go. And I just made it home, but I went to edit the video, and it was like hour and ten minutes long. It was ridiculous. So now I'm going to retry it, and we're going to maybe try and talk about some of the stuff that I talked about. I was coming home. Um, if you can't tell, there's the truck. Yeah. Um, like I was saying on the way home, uh, I got the motor for the unibody. When was that? A couple weeks ago already? Or was it last week even? No, it wasn't last week. It was... Yeah, two weeks ago, it was a Thursday, I think. I'd have to look on my garage amino and see when I actually did bring that home. And my holder is like bugging the crap out of me. I'm using my windshield mount to try and get me a little way, little ways away from myself. Um, and it's it's actually kind of working, but I don't know how the lighting is because it. The holder's kind of in the way of my screen. Oh. So, yeah. And I'm uncovering the 5.0. I th Some of you probably have seen it on, like I said, Garage Amino. Or Amino. Am Am Amino, I think it is. I think that's what it is. Um... Let's see if I can maybe turn you around. No. Nope. Well, here we go. There it is. Um, just a 5.0 out of a 90 Lincoln Town car. It's the low output 5.0, but I plan on building it anyway, so that's not really a big deal for me. Um, so I got that, and then next thing to get, I'll cover that up later. Uh, next thing to get is the Crown Vic front end, which I might have. I might have enough funds for that right now. It's just to find one. There is a couple on Craigslist that are completely what I need. The brakes, the rack and pinion steering, the front end, everything I need. The springs, the A-arms, everything. It's complete. Um, I just, it's in the Twin Cities and I'm not down there that often. So we're, I'm kind of waiting to jump the gun on that one. But then again, I kind of want to jump the gun just because... Well, I want to get this thing done. But hopefully in a couple weeks I'll be able to finish this. Or get the parts. And then bring it down to work. So I can work on it. Excuse me. After hours. Um, hopefully it'll only take a couple days. I'm thinking work on it. Usually get off about probably... 4, 4.30, some days 5, work on it for 3 to 4 hours, a couple days, and it shouldn't take all that long to get the front end in. Why am I so cold? But other than that, nothing else has really happened with the unibody, or the 100, whatever you want to call it. Um... Um, 
yeah, that's about it. And then, let's see if I can set you there. Nope, that ain't gonna work. So, yeah, another thing I'm looking at is a Crown Vic, CVPI. I've found a couple that I like. It's just that I gotta sell something to get the funds for that car. What I'm thinking about selling is that thing out there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, because I don't, I didn't look at the camera angle or anything. But anyway, I got a buddy looking at that for me, so I can um, sell that to him for enough money to buy a Crown Vic. Why a Crown Vic? I don't know. V8 rear wheel drive boat of a car that's kind of what I like is the bigger cars and then who who's gonna complain with a v8 rear wheel drive car and then I just like the style of them too well let me clarify the 98 and up body style the bubble body style with the big not the not the skinny headlights, but the big headlights in the front. The more rounded body style of the bu bubbles bodies, if that's what you want to call them. The panther bodies, I think. That's what they call them. Holy crap, I'm shivering. Why am I shivering? It isn't even that cold out. But yeah, that's what's been going on here. It's just trying to save up get parts save up some more get some material to put the front end in i got i got the um computer for the 50 and everything i got some extra wiring i don't i don't even know if i'm going to need that down there because I think people have just used the harness that's on the engine itself and then plug it into the computer and then uh, <clears throat> and then the two battery cables, which is kind of self-explanatory. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward, but I'm not that great with wiring and electronics. This is going to be interesting with this motor, so stay tuned, and I might make another video this weekend, might be next week, I'm not sure, but I will definitely let you guys know if I get um, the front end for this truck. My dog is absolutely weird he's my little helper though so well if you can call him little he's like a hundred and some pound yellow lab <clears throat> but yeah that's that uh, stay tuned like I said sorry about my hands being in the way I'm playing with my phone cover but yeah stay tuned and see you next time